Welcome to the first in a new series of Ametis video blogs. My name is Ross Gregg, I'm the Managing Director at Ametis, and myself and the rest of the team will be producing a number of industry and technology updates for you over the coming months. Today I'd like to talk to you about a really hot topic within the business intelligence marketplace, and that's the Gartner Magic Quadrant for Business Intelligence and Data Analytics. Each spring, Gartner produce a report which shows how each of those key vendors are performing across two key metrics. That's the completeness of their vision and their ability to execute. This is important within the BI industry because vendors want to know how they're performing against their competition and purchasers want to understand which products and platforms they should be investing in. Let's take a look at the Gartner report for this year. Here we can see the 2016 report. Each vendor is scored across two key criteria. Across the horizontal axis, we have our completeness of vision. and On the vertical axis, we have the ability to execute. This is then divided into those four quadrants in the bottom left corner being the niche players, over on the right the visionaries, in the top left hand corner the challengers, and finally the leaders in the top right hand corner. In 2016, we can see that Tableau, Click and Microsoft are the only three in the leaders quadrant. But this only tells me one picture, it tells me what's happening now in 2016. What if I want to see what the trends are over time, or perhaps I want to analyse a specific set of products and how they've been changing for year, year on year. I can't do that from here. So at Metis, we've built a quick click sense dashboard which allows us to go further into those last six years of analytics. Let's take a look at that now. Here we have uh, our dashboard for 2016. In the central area, we have our equivalent of the Gartner Magic Quadrant. If I make that a little bit bigger, you can see this should mirror exactly the data we were just looking at in the Gartner report with Tableau, Click and Microsoft in our leaders quadrant. But even with just 2016 data being shown, I can already get some additional insights. I can see that there are 24 platforms that have been assessed and they've also been categorized into high, medium, and low performers. And in order to do that, we've given each of those vendors a specific score based on the, uh, the two axis, the vision axis and the execution axis, simply by multiplying them together to give a ranking somewhere between zero and 100. So at the top here, we can see as well our average score for this year, 17.25. And over on the right-hand side, we can see some insights into our leaderboard, where we can see Microsoft clicking Tableau out in front, where we can compare and contrast different vendors against each other. So that's just the result for 2016. We've already got some additional insights. But now it'll be interesting to see how this data is transformed over time. So if I clear my filter on 2016, we're now looking at that full data set. Now immediately, I can get some additional insights. I can see that that value of 17 on average in 2016 is actually considerably lower to that of previous years, but the average has been more like 24 or 25. So that tells us something about how Gartner is assessing the marketplace. You can see that borne out over to the right hand side as well, where we're categorizing each of those vendors in their high, medium and low sectors. We can see that 2016 has the fewest number of green high performers, but also the largest number of red low performers. So Gartner certainly seems to be getting tough this year. Over to the right hand side, we can also see the, the current leaderboard across all time. And this is where we're categorizing each of those products again, but showing that changing year on year. So this again starts to give us some additional insights. We can see, for example, that vendors like Tibco and Information Builders seem to be improving their picture over the first half of that six year period, but towards the end, they've been falling away into our red zone. Generally speaking, there also seems to be a lack of consistency across here as well, with, with various vendors moving from red, yellow, and green categories. The only standout from that is actually Click. So Click achieved a green, high-performing status in each of the last six years. That's also borne out by the, the details of the Gartner Quadrant, where they're always in that leader's area. So already, we're starting to get some additional insights. Now, one of the products that's come to the fore in the last few years has been Tableau. Tableau came through here from our amber area into the green zone over the last few years. And we, we know from our 2016 results, they're still in the leader's quadrant. So let's take a look at those in a little bit more detail. Here we can see their average position over that six years. But if I come onto our second page, we can also split that out so we can see that transformation over time. So we can see into where they were in 2011, 2012, and across into the later years as well. We can quite, quite clearly see the transformation from this top left challengers quadrant into the top right leaders quadrant. So that gets me thinking about where are the challenges coming from in the current picture. So if I go back to my main dashboard and start having a look at who's in this top left corner, at the moment, in 2016, there's actually nobody there. So let's go back and see who has been a challenger over those last few years and see if that tells us something as well. So in 2015, I can see 
that we had Tableau and TIBCO. The same were there in 20, 2012. In 2013 and 2014, we actually had Logi Analytics and Burst. Coming through into 2016, we find that's our first year that actually doesn't have a challenger in the quadrant. So let's have a look at those four challengers that have been in that top left quadrant over the last six year period. So if I select them in the right hand chart, we have Tableau, TIBCO, Burst, and Logi Analytics. So this tells us the average position over all time, but I'm interested in where they are today. So I select 2016. What we can see here quite clearly is that Logi Analytics and TIBCO have really dropped away towards the bottom end of that visionary quadrant. Burst are still relatively well positioned, um, but they've still not managed to make their way into that leader's quadrant. So let's take a little bit closer look at those as well. If I switch back onto my detailed sheet, I can also see that their prog progression over time has kept them in a very similar area towards the center of that. So it does start to beg the question whether Burst really are going to push through into that leader's quadrant. Maybe they should have done it before now if they were going to do it. But if we come just back to our 2016 results, there certainly doesn't seem to be anybody else pushing through the challenger's quadrant to get into the leader's area. Perhaps this year and into 2017, we'll see some further uh, movement from those in the visionary's quadrant pushing further, further up into the uh, leader's area. So already, with quite a small amount of data, we've got quite detailed in our analytics of how Gartner are assessing the, the marketplace for business intelligence vendors. We're going to further detail of this in, in our blog that describes how we're creating those categories and ranking those products. And we also do a deep dive analysis of Click versus Tableau, as that's a key competition point to discuss in the next 12 months as well. So if you'd like any further information about the ClickSense application we built, we're sharing that with everybody via the ClickSense cloud. If you'd like access, please contact us at info at or check out the website. Thanks for your time today. We hope you found that useful. We really look forward to presenting future topics on both industry trends and Click technology updates. See you again soon.